All right, back at the field, we are testing SU-34. We've got elevons and ailerons testing, and we need some more roll. So here's what I got for elevator, and here's what I got for roll. Now, that's almost 4x4, four four, you know what I mean? Uh, I've also got the rudders uh, dialed down. But you see the, how the hinge line is, is, is sloping forward? It, 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 it goes to yaw, but then it's also rolling, or it's actually kind of more of like rolling it's got a weird wash to it where it yaws and rolls. So what I'm looking for is if I don't have enough roll, which I've not been having enough roll, I should continue to see what I see and then I struggle going into the rolls. If it's too much, which I've always been afraid of with doing a uh, 4x4 style system like this, what I'm worried about is that being um, too, too out of control. So a little bit more stable. All right, enough yakking. Here we go, ready? Oh, that's a lot of roll, okay, okay. That was snappy, feels good. Wow, very snappy, very silly snappy. Okay, let me just get it trimmed in here. It's playing with it last night and got it out of trim. Let me do a little yaw, oh, that's much better with the yaw. Oh, heck yeah. Uh, let me, before, I, before I get into the rolls here, let me, let me just get a, wow. Let me just get a baseline on the uh, the other two uh, axes. This is this is. Get you a little bit more zoom in than that. Hold on. Whoa! All right, ready? Let's do rolls going the other way. So we'll go from right to left. Come around, get some speed. Here we go. Here goes our roll. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, that was nice. Okay, that I can I can. There, that's a wrap right there. That was exactly what I was looking for. Here we go again, right here. Ready, and roll. Oh, wow! Yeah! Uh, okay, I'm gonna land it, and... Uh, shh, shh, somebody's coming. I'm gonna land it and put some Expo on it. Going with the wind for the landing. Be a little hot on the landings here. I know you can't see it, don't worry. There you go. There you go, there you go. Okay, so that was that was darn good. Let's uh, figure out how to put Expo. Exponential, just to soften the uh, stupid radio. Come on, I'm back where I started. Here we go. Randomly found it. Okay, Expo. What did I say? A Expo aileron. Okay, so I have Expo. Yeah, there you go. So that's that's roll with 50. Let's see what. Uh, Let's see what more does. Oh, 100%. So, yeah, it's a lot softer, and then it goes. Uh, okay, I, I might, uh, I might actually like that. Let's, uh, let's give that a shot. I don't even need to calibrate it. I just, <laughs> I just like scoping people. <laughs> we're, we're already good to go today. We got our rolls. Now I just want to get a little pilot comfort. 100% uh, expo. I don't think I've ever been up at 100% expo. You know, started getting rusty over the years. Here we go. Ready? Beautiful takeoff. Uh, going into the wind, so that helps. Uh, oh, wow. That's feeling really good. That's... I. That You gotta, you gotta work to turn it, which I kind of like, you know? If I'm erring on one side or the other, I want to err on the side of I'm not accidentally turning it, you know, because I I twitched. That was a twitch. What was that? Is that me? I said twitch and then it twitched. Hypnotized myself. Let me zoom in a little for you. Okay, let me not crash it for you. And if I do, catch it on camera. Oh yeah, that was feeling confident now. Oh yeah. We're, uh, we're going to get ready to tear this thing up here. There's nobody out here. Oh yeah, that's uh, yeah. A little sloppy, but yeah, we're gonna need some rudders to keep up with that. And then, uh, wow, a power system. I got the small motor in this thing still. The Microjet, and I got the big 2200 battery, I got six servos, so I like that, you know, payload, room to spare. Okay, I'm not even testing anymore, I'm just flying it. 
Okay, I just I love those rolls, and I'm and I'm uh, flying too slow, which is kind of like what I like to do because it puts a lot of pressure on the plane. It's a lot of challenge for it to do its maneuvers whilst dodging poles and flying slow. Get some speed on it. Wow, that thing is that that thing just rolls right down the center line. Uh, all right, I am uh, I am happy with this. I, when I go up into high alpha, if I could not hit the fumbly... Okay, hold on. If I could not hit the uh, fumbly spoiler on switch and have the ailerons up right now because they're acting as elevators, that's a two for one, right? That, uh, that'd be pretty slick if that works out. All right, I'm gonna run out of batteries on this camera. I got some other stuff to film today, so let me bring this in. Yeah, the uh, motors. Uh, I keep, uh, I keep working it like I got a real motor on there. That is pretty sweet. Hold on, the sun bothers this camera. I mean, I bother that camera. The the all four controls doing for roll is a total go, total go. I I, I don't need. Here's the thing, I don't need canards or larger uh, horizontals for uh, 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 more pitch. The pitch is great. It just flips so good. What I would need the extra ailerons to do for uh, pitch would, would be for acting as uh, spoilerons, just kind of pseudo spoilerons. All right, I'm kind of thinking a lot of stuff out loud. Let's uh, call it a wrap for today. Take a little break, working on some other planes. Um, and next time we take this out, let's have that test. Because I can sit here and theorize all day. Let's just try it out. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, it's 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 all weird. It is uh, uh, not pretty good. Did you see that?